The Chicago Bears veteran mini camp has officially wrapped up. Three straight weeks of OTAs are in the books. The veterans will now get a break, but the rookies and some vets will continue the offseason program at Hallis Hall until training camp picks up next month. Training camp should start a week earlier than normal due to the fact that the Bears are participating in the Hall of Fame game this year. And on top of that, the Bears also announced one singular joint practice with the Cincinnati Bengals this year. That's going to be on August 15th. It's a Thursday. That'll come before our preseason matchup with them. But I really like those joint practices. We learned a lot last year against the Colts. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about today's practice. There were some guys who missed practice again today. Cole Komet, Braxton Jones, Kyler Gordon, and Tyler Scott all missed practice today. Matt Eberflew said they were all precautionary. No reason to worry about any of those guys yet. But the other guy who missed practice was Nate Davis again. I really just want to see him ready to go for training camp. He just has missed more time than anyone else on our roster over the last year. This is definitely a make-or-break season for him. Today's practice was focused on red zone drills, and there were extremely strong wins at Hallis Hall. That did not stop Caleb Williams from having another really good practice. He continues growing in this offense, and we keep getting positive reports out of Hallis Hall. In the 7-on-7 drills, he threw a deep touchdown pass to DJ Moore over the middle of the field, lasered this one over multiple defenders. What a pass. And then later, he threw a nice touchdown pass to Rome Odunze in the corner of the end zone. Odunze went up and high-pointed the ball, showcasing his best skill he brings to the roster, his contested catch ability. Matt Eberflew specifically called out Romo Dunze as one of the guys he's been most impressed with so far this offseason. I still cannot believe we got Romo Dunze. Meanwhile, Caleb and Odunze connected multiple times today, and the chemistry between them is clearly growing. Go ahead and order your Caleb Williams and Romo Dunze jerseys now. These guys are going to be staples in the Chicago Bears offense for a long time to come. An interesting note was the Bears started out 11-on-11 drills today with a trick play. Caleb would toss the ball to Keenan Allen, who threw it deep down the sideline for DeAndre Swift. The pass was underthrown and not completed, but always fun to see trick plays in practice. And then Caleb Williams spoke to the media again today. Hey, everybody. One of the biggest things that surprised me with Caleb Williams is just how infectious his personality is. His talent has always been well known, but his charisma, how genuine he is, and just how much he loves being a Chicago Bear has been incredible to watch. Every time this guy talks, I like him even more. He's genuine, honest, and it's extremely hard not to like this guy. He talked about learning cadences today, learning the offense, and he talked about his expectations as the Bears franchise quarterback. Make sure you give that one a listen if you haven't. It's on the Bears' official YouTube page. Caleb Williams really is different than any quarterback we've ever had in my lifetime. I think everyone knows how excited I am for this team's future, but I truly believe Caleb Williams is already the best quarterback we've ever had, and that's before he's taken a single snap at the NFL level. That's crazy to say, but my confidence in him is off the charts. Final thing about Caleb, he was asked about his contract, and some fans in the chat seemed worried to learn that he hasn't signed his rookie deal yet. Like Caleb, I'm not worried about this. If it was an issue, he wouldn't be out at camp practicing. Rookie contracts are slotted now, and it's just about certain things in the language of the contract and how bonuses are paid out. There's no reason to worry as both Caleb Williams and Romo Dunze remain unsigned. Only four of this year's top 10 picks have signed contracts so far. Drake May, Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, and J.C. Latham. Six of this draft's top 10 picks have still yet to finalize their rookie contracts. Caleb Williams and Romo Dunze are joined by Jaden Daniels, Joe Alt, Michael Penix Jr., and J.J. McCarthy as top 10 picks who have not signed their rookie deals yet. Caleb's reps are most likely waiting for Jaden Daniels to sign. They really do not want Jaden to somehow end up with a better deal, but Romo Dunze could sign his contract any day now. 
I'm not worried about either one of those guys. They both should be signed before training camp. Really no reason to worry if you ask me. Final note, all three of our running backs have split time running with the first team offense and have all caught passes from Caleb Williams. The Bears showed off highlights of passes to both Roshan Johnson and Khalil Herbert. I still believe this is DeAndre Swift's backfield though once he gets fully acclimated to the offense. That's it for today's practice recap. I have a ton more content on the way, including a full look at our depth chart, 53-man roster, and a deep dive into Shane Waldron's offense. Be sure you guys have those notifications turned on. Remember to hit the like button for me, and until next time, bear down.